What's happening, West Virginia State alumni and family and followers and fans? Um, Big Mike B here to let you know about week three, game three, up in Notre Dame. Uh, this school is uh, just outside of Cleveland. It was an away game for West Virginia State University Yellow Jackets. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the game here. Listen to it on 98.7 The Beat. Uh, and through iHeartRadio app. Through the iHeartRadio app, it really works good if you want to listen to all the games. Uh, West Virginia State, you can be anywhere and listen to the game there. So we came out on an opening drive, got the ball. Khalil Wilkins, man, driving the ball. This guy's unbelievable. Last week he had over 200 yards rushing, about 200 yards rushing. He's a beast, this kid. But driving the ball and breaks about a 10-yard run. He gets an unsportsmanlike penalty. So he gets one flag, runs the ball again, gets a second one. He got ejected from the game. Really hurt us. Really hurt us right there. Our best running back, one of our best players, not only out of the backfield. If you remember last week, he caught a lot of caught a caught a lot of balls. Uh, uh, caught a lot of balls. Also running the running the rock. Uh, you know, just a phenomenal player, um, up and coming. But I got to give it to Fonzie Salido today, uh, the uh, quarterback. And he had a great game today. Uh, 6'2, 225, uh, uh, graduate transfer. And uh, as we all know now, Austin Hensley uh, is in a cast and is out for the season. So the starting quarterback is out for the season, leaving Fonzie uh, Salido, the guy that came in uh, after the Char in the Charleston game to take over for him, um, did a very good job today. Um, had over 300 yards passing, about three touchdowns. Uh, but Notre Dame, they had some kid, a, a, a wide receiver, was unbelievable. Um, um, trying to think of his name right now. It'll come to me in just a second. But um, this kid, they, they were kind of saying, was uh, NFL caliber wide receiver. Um, the running back, now listen, the defense today did a great job as far as uh, run stopping. Uh, the running back they had for the other team was McLaughlin, and uh, he was averaging about 10 yards a carry. Um, after today, I think it's about five or six yards a carry after today's game, um, you know, in, in the game there. But we stopped. Defense stopped him time and time again um, and uh, kept him to a minimal uh, yards today. Um, make a long story short, we lost the game 33-31, uh, came down to the end of the game. Once again, we put up 30, over 30 points this week, but um, they could throw the ball all over us. So we need to uh, figure out something with our pass defense. Uh, penalties, I would say, also today uh, really hurt us, shot us in the foot just like the week before. Uh, a little upsetting uh, with that. That leaves us at 1-2 and two right now. It sucks because the two games that we lost here, this game was by two points. And uh, the uh, same thing with the UC game was real close. Three points, I think it was a three-point game. So, uh, a little frustrating as a fan, but you know we're going to keep going, though, because you got to look at it. And the UC's 3-0 and right now. Um, Notre Dame is 3-0 and right now. So these two teams that we played, we lost by three points to, but they are the best two teams in the conference. Next week, we have Shepard coming in. Shepard's is 0-1 right now, and... Um, you know, I think they have a game today. They were off last week. And um, so they'll be coming into uh, West Virginia State next week. Um, kickoff is at 12 o'clock. Uh, if you could listen, you could listen, uh, you know, on iHeartRadio 98.7 or 98.7, the beat. Or uh, go to the game and support them next week. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for following me. I will post this on the alumni page just to let all the guys know. And girls, uh, uh, what happened with the game today. Love you. Bye-bye.